Hey guys, welcome back. I am on a roll. This little mini series of getting rid of stuff has really motivated me. Um, I already tackled my stickers, which I didn't do a video on just because that was a longer process, just because I was going through a lot of uh, separate sheets and cutting out specific stickers from books, like sticker books, um, just to keep the ones that I want. Um, and so I I will have or I will share that on Instagram, just the photos of like what I had and what I decided to keep. Um, but I wanted to jump on here real quick about uh, my sticky notes. All of my sticky notes mostly live in a wooden box that I keep. It's about this size. It was like a little nesting set that I got from Michael's. Um, it's like untreated wood. And pretty much it's just filled with a bunch of, you know, sticky notes that I don't use very much or I haven't touched. Um, so I feel like I need to go through this and donate some. Um, starting right here, these I've had for years, I never used them, so I'm just going to donate that. Um, before I got into all, like, the cute stuff, before I even discovered it, I had a bunch of these, like, Post-it brand flags that I would use for cookbooks and stuff, which I feel like I can let go now because I use these cute ones for flagging a lot of, like, cookbooks when I go through them, um, which is the reason why I buy the cute sticky flags because otherwise I have no use for them. Um, so I feel like I could just let these go. The nice thing about these are they're clear, um, which, so if I bookmark the page itself, I could bookmark a certain section of the book, even if it's just a book that I'm reading, um, that way, you know, it's clear so you can kind of see where it's, um, bookmarked and, you know, make notes or something like that. So a bunch of these, some of these aren't even, haven't even been used, but I had a huge pack of those, I can just let those go. Um, and I have another one that can go, um, I feel like I should just start here. Um, these are, I love these little Sumiko Garashi guys, so I will keep the, these. Once in a while I'll pull the sheets out to journal with, so I will keep those, I'll keep those to the side. Same with this set here, it's just a bunch of like cute papers and stuff, which I do use for my journal, so... I'll keep those. Um, like I said, I use the flags for like cookbooks, so I will use those. This is a new pack that I bought from Kinokuniya. I don't know when, but um, I might just take a few sheets and then just donate it. Maybe I'll do that because there's no way I'm going to get to it. Um, same with these. I've been using these for, let's see, like some of them are pretty much done. Um, I use these for cookbooks, so I'll save that. Um, these I bought from Daiso before I left Seattle. And I like these that they're kind of like, they're vellum -y, so I use these in my journal for decorating, not for like flagging. But I could use them for flagging books, so... But I do like the, the material that they're made out of. Um, I like the pandas. I'll keep those. This is a really, really cute set. I don't know. I think the pen pal sent them to me. I think I'm just going to donate them or give them to somebody. They're cute, though. Um, I love using these, actually. Ooh, can I... Okay, well, how is this sticking? Oh, here it is. I love using these. I actually had two sets of those, so I will keep those because they're kind of like semi-clear. Um, floppy disk ones. This is just a few sheets. I can actually use those for journaling. I should just keep those out. And then these are really great for if I'm reading a book and I'd like to reference back to something. These are super thin. I got them at Dyson a couple years ago, and they're super nice. And they work well for the Hobonichi, too, because they pretty much fit the grid lines because they're so small. Very handy. These I can just let go. These I can let go. Um, super handy though. Maybe, you know what I could do? I could probably take these to the office 
No sense in wasting them. I'll actually take these to my office and use them. Because I'll need them anyway. So, yeah. Um, this came in a set. <sighs> I never use these, but they're super cute. I feel like I'll just take a few sheets of those and just donate them. Um, these I will keep. I got these in uh, at Muji a while ago. See, I use the flags a lot for... Um, stuff like that so this is from a kiki k set these are super thick sticky notes um i don't know if they sell these the same amount um now but when i bought my kiki k i bought a whole sticky note set and these pads were thick i mean i've had these for years and i'm still using them i really enjoy the graphic on this so i will keep that because i actually use this for journaling but I'm just surprised that, like, you get a really good amount of sticky notes with the Kiki K brand. Um, I got these. You know what? I don't even know where I got these. Um, but he's not my favorite, like, Japanese cartoon or something. So I'm going to see if a friend wants these and donate them. More Panda Guys. Um, I feel like I could just, like... Maybe I'll choose my favorite characters and, like, cut those out and keep those. These are the same. I use these for journaling. I kind of like that it's like a little clipboard. Um, maybe I'll just take a few sheets out of these and these and just donate these as well. So, And then these are the same idea. They're just kind of like these strippy kind of guys, kind of clear. Um, I got this at Daiso keep those I'm not really getting rid of much here am i these are super cute i got them at like our local bookstore here a long time ago they're like the pride and prejudice guys but i never reach for them um so i feel like i might just take a couple sheets of those and just donate those as well this a friend got me a long time ago so i'm gonna keep this it's actually like a little matchbook um paper pad that you can keep in your purse. Maybe I'll just throw this into my purse, honestly. Um, this is a pad of sticky notes that I made for myself in college. Um, I'm just going to keep that for sentimental reasons. Cultural ones, I should really use these. My brother got these for me years ago and I haven't used them yet, but I can use them in my journal. So keep those and then these I'm just gonna donate. Um I like these because they're clear, but I just don't use I just have so many. Or maybe I should just get rid of some other ones and then just keep these. No, you know what? I'm gonna donate them. Um and then these I picked up at Daiso before I left and I like them, I like them for journaling. Although I like this set the most, which I'm definitely going to keep. I don't need two of these, so I'm just going to donate one set and see if my friends want them. But I just need the one set. And then the flamingos are kind of cute for summer. So I'll just keep those. But at least what I've done is downsize it to a point where this stack I'm just going to keep a few sheets of. And then the rest can just sit in this box and actually fit, which is really nice. Oh, and then this set is a set that my brother, or my brother, my husband got me a long time ago and I actually have used quite a bit. I'm actually thinking of bringing this to the office too and just use them for note taking. I really like this part. This part's like the coolest of them. And then these are like little flags. So I might take this to the office to use. I don't know, jazz at my desk. Um, so it's not just sitting at home. So I think I'll do that and clean everything up. But there it is. That's my sticky note set. Um, thanks for watching. Happy de Bye.